In the Billions show, Bobby Axelrod doesn't seem to invest a lot in crypto, but he likes to get paid in crypto. Your 2 and 20 is now 1 and 10. 2 and 20 is a classic hedge fund fee structure. 2% of management fees and 20% of performance fees. The rest will be converted into cryptocurrency and paid to me. Here he chooses crypto because it's a dodgy secret deal. That's because Axe bailed him out. But Axe also likes to pay in crypto. One million straight in crypto in cold storage. The idea is again to hide the payment because in this case, it would look bad if the employer was covering the fine that Mafia had to pay. So in Billions Crypto is primarily a way to hide transactions. But does that really make sense? Well, crypto has been used like that in the past. From 2011 to 2013, there was Silk Road, a digital black market for illegal items such as drugs, weapons, money laundering, and it was using Bitcoins for payments. The FBI eventually shut it down and seized a lot of bitcoins in the process. The defendants used a network of computers around the world and they paid for it using cryptocurrencies. Today we talk again about crypto. One of Putin's cronies who already has a billion or so in crypto that he wants to hide from the governments that are enforcing sanctions on oligarchs. Because it could be a way for Russian oligarchs to avoid sanctions. If he hops from one blockchain to another... Is crypto really a good way to hide money? All transactions are available in a public ledger. It's fully transparent, and that potentially makes it easier for the authorities to track you down if they really want to. It is not a good idea to commit crime with Bitcoin because the moment you have one single weak link in your operational security, all of your history is now exposed. The bottom line is I don't think Axe could easily hide the payments through crypto. Are you in? But if we go past that, was it such a bad idea? Well, first we need to understand what crypto it was and they don't tell us. It could be Bitcoin because that's the leading and oldest cryptocurrency. If we look at Bitcoin in April 2018, when the episode with Matthew was released, for example, the price was around $8,000. And today it's around $40,000. The value of the million paid to Mafi would be 5 million today. For the second case, if I was Axe and getting paid in crypto, I would probably prefer to have it as a stable income without the crypto volatility. Again, in 2018, Axelrod could have been paid in Tether, a stable coin launched in 2014. It is pegged to the US dollar, and on top of that, he could earn some yield on it by staking it or lending it. But this is something we're going to talk about in the future. As always, do your own research, invest in yourself, seek diversity in assets and people, and subscribe for more content about the future of investing without the hype. And there will be more crypto on this channel.